Ashe Warriors. It is the Sacral Empress here. I'm back with another YouTube video. Today, y'all, I'm doing a pick a card reading on who's sending you evil eye energy. Okay, so some of you are probably clicked on this video because you may have been experiencing a lot of things that don't really reflect your everyday life. Maybe feeling super down um, or could be experiencing a fly or gnat infestation in your home. Um, maybe you can't sleep. Maybe you feel somebody tugging on your energy. So you're probably wondering who the hell is sending negative energy my way? Why? And what do I need to do so that I can up my protection? So that's what I'm here to do for y'all today. Go ahead and click the subscribe button if you're not subscribed already. Hit that bell so that y'all never miss any of my uploads. And comment your name down below. Let me know if this video resonated with you. And welcome to the Empress Empire. Let's get it. You know what I'm going to say. And even if I get in trouble, you know what I'm saying? That ain't that what we're supposed to do. It's, I'm not saying I'm going to rule the world or I'm going to change the world. But I guarantee that I will spark the, the, the brain that will change the world. And that's our job. So, y'all, we have three piles here today. And it's always going to be left to right. So, pile one pile two and pile three okay left to right that's the only way that i do my pick a card readings so if there's a video where i don't really say which piles what just remember in y'all's minds that it's left to right so i want y'all to just sit with the cards for a little bit and really feel out what resonates with you or where your energy's feeling pulled um I don't have any crystals or anything on the card, so y'all just gonna have to trust y'all's intuition and go with the flow and maybe even pick a number that you feel is your lucky number. Which number do you resonate more with, you know, out of those three? Um, so without further ado, we're gonna go ahead and get into the video. Hello, Pi One. We're about to get into it, see who's sending you evil eye energy, okay? So let's look at the cards. I'm just gonna pull them from the bottom since that's where I'll start. Um, so the first deck that I'm using is going to determine who is sending y'all the evil eye energy, okay? So this is going to be who? The thinking woman. Ooh, somebody's thinking about y'all, Pi One. And then see, it could be a feminine energy or it could be somebody that, you know, you may have touched. Vulnerable, like you, you touched them emotionally. You touched them in ways spiritually. Like this is somebody that probably looks up to y'all, okay? So it could be a sibling, um... It could be like someone that you mentor or it could be somebody that you feel looks up to you in a way. Like, you know, like big sis, little sis, that type of thing. Um, so that's what I'm getting so far. Contract. This is somebody that you feel, I guess you even feel spiritual connection to this person as well. Y'all feel spiritual connection to one another. Um, and this may be because y'all are here to learn something from each other in this lifetime. So maybe this is somebody that, you know went against the soul contract or something we're gonna see we're gonna get into the tea okay yeah jason possibilities yes somebody that probably went against the grain like they probably like did some shady shit to you because they felt some type of way about you so this is the one that assumes like they assumed that you didn't mess with them or they assumed that you didn't like them or they assumed you was talking about them on a post that you made that probably didn't have nothing to do with them so this is somebody that felt either threatened threatened by your presence or just felt some type of way about something that you did, but never vocalized it. They were in their head about it. They never said how they actually felt. So I feel like this is kind of somebody that feels some type of way about you. You know what I'm saying? They're thinking that, oh, they're talking about me, da 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 But it's like, no, you feel some type of way about me. So this is somebody that probably is still around you. <laughs> this is probably like a close friend that just feels some type of way about your presence, your energy. And maybe this is somebody that's just jealous of you as a whole. So with this adjacent possibilities card, I feel like this is somebody whose energy is always all over the place. Like this is somebody that doesn't really know what they want in life. Like they're pretty scattered. Like this is somebody that doesn't have a set foundation. You know what I'm saying? This is somebody that doesn't have their shit together. But you probably have your shit together in some way or another. Or you look like you got your shit together. And they're jealous. They're jealous. Okay? They feel some type of way. They're like, mm, yeah, you didn't get all that by yourself. You probably slept with somebody to get this. Like, this is somebody that's just super fucking shady. They probably would never say these things to your face, though. So somebody's probably going to keep a lot of the things that they want to say to themselves. Because they seem to have this need to still want to be in a close friendship with you so this is probably a close friend or somebody that you thought you trusted or thought you fucked with but they don't seem to be fucking with you like that so i don't know who this is but i'm sure y'all do 
so seventh chakra archangel uriel so like i said this is somebody that has like a spiritual connection with you so some like a kind of like a soul tie but i don't think it's like a soul tie like this might be like a soul mate like somebody that you know you're here to like like i said earlier learn from and you know build experiences with things like that just someone that's like how do i word this like i don't know like a close friend like somebody you know for lifetimes like you got contract in the seventh chakra like this is somebody that like it's supposed to be riding for you it's supposed to be your bestie like y'all supposed to be doing more than hating on each other and i don't think y'all are hating on them but it's like they're hating on you this is a hater okay so whoever this is they're a hater and if you're a hater stop being a hater but i doubt you. i doubt anybody watching my channel is a hater but you know to each his own so we got deceit here i feel like this is definitely somebody that like tries to like, like i said earlier they probably still around you like they're probably still near you like i could feel for a lot of y'all this is somebody that still you're still friends with you probably still call up key key ha ha <laughs> good times but behind that key key is a bitch i don't like you it's one of them it's one of them type of bitches so i think that y'all need to use y'all's discernment with who y'all around just off of what i'm getting so far um and i wouldn't say like isolate yourself but I would definitely say that y'all do need to be in solitude anyways. So that's just coming through. Next is happy family. So I feel for a lot of y'all, this is somebody that's like a close family member. Like this could be a sister. This could be a brother. This could be a cousin. This could be an uncle. This could be a grandma, grandpa. Okay. This could be somebody in your life that has known you your entire life. And, and it's probably just been preying on your downfall the entire time. Like, I, I hope they never succeed in life. I hope they never do better than me. I hope they stay living in this fort for the rest of their life. And you probably showed them that you can live anywhere you choose to. You still going to thrive. You still going to make the most out of your situation. Because that's just who you are. So they feel some type of way. And I feel like they just got to keep feeling that type of way. So let's see why. Let's see why they're sending you this evil eye energy. So I had already said that they probably are jealous because that's just obviously the proof is in the pudding. But we're going to see why they're sending you this energy. So I got my Disney Villains deck. And y'all know I always put the decks in the description. So y'all can check the description if y'all wondering what cards I'm using. Um, so the Empress. So we got the Empress and then we also have... The thinking woman so this is mother gothel okay now y'all not uh, well y'all probably don't know but my friends know i'm very big on disney stuff like that's that's my childhood disney raised me okay so this is mother gothel here from tangled and she was using her daughter's powers to keep her younger right so i feel like this is somebody that's like them hurting you or trying to like send this evil eye energy to you makes them feel better it makes them feel good they feel good raining on your parade shitting on your parade throwing up on your parade punching you at the parade like they feel so good about making you feel shitty so this is probably somebody that doesn't really compliment you they always like give you backhand compliments or make fun of the way you look or dress or something like that when you probably look good as hell because they couldn't pull it off they feel some type of way so this is just a a hater they for the streets so next is the hermit didn't i just say y'all's gonna have to go in solitude i just said that so i feel like this is a part of the journey for you for your soul you're here to you know evolve obviously and i feel like you know one of your biggest lessons has to do with people's opinions and also not being too trusting you know and i guess more so using your intuition as well so that seems to be very significant for y'all y'all have to learn to trust y'all's intuition because y'all probably have already been told or shown that this person was not a good match for you or this is somebody that you shouldn't probably stay around too much you know because they a little iffy um next is ace of coins they're doing it because 
<laughs> they see what you have. And I feel like this is why they're not leaving your side. They like sending it on the low, but they also are, pray are praying on your downfall because they know that you're going places. They know that you can open up doors that they can't open. And they're trying to go through those doors, doors with you rather than going through their own doors. You got doors, friend. You got doors, hater. Like, you can go through your own doors. Why are you trying to follow me through my doors? This this door is not going to open for you. It's going to open for me. I'm going to walk in. It's going to shut. And you're going to be standing on the other side looking goofy because you think that what's mine is yours. But we not even like that. Like, this is somebody that really thinks they your biggest fan, your best friend, but they're really praying on your downfall. So next is Ten of Coins. It, this just further just explains why they're doing it because they know that you are someone that is fruitful you bring you bring things to fruition you know what i'm saying you have the ability to create you have the ability to really pour into yourself into your craft into the people around you and they want to leash off of that energy your energy is fruitful and they want to like suck the blood out of you because they feel like it's going to give them the ability as well but like you already have the ability but you spending all this energy trying to hate on somebody and that's why you can't pursue what you're trying to pursue but anywho next is the six of swords so i feel like they're trying to play the long game here we also have the queen of coins so this just you you fruitful three times three times four times if you want to count the empress card as well you are just you're like that you're like that and they don't like that <laughs> You're like that, but they don't like that. And that's a them problem. It's not a you problem. It's their problem. So that's what I have for who's sending you in evil eye energy and why they're sending you evil eye energy. Let's get into how you can protect yourself at this time. So I'm taking my, I think this is my goddesses and guidances card or something like that. Um, oh, God, goddesses, gods, and guardians. Okay. Um, so let's see. Mermaid of Lumeria, Joy, keep... Keep standing in your power. Keep feeling good about where you're at. I feel like if you if you were to just let this person's energy or their negativity throw you off and make you feel like, you know, you're not doing enough or, you know, you're not that girl or whatever the case may be, then that's just going to be the case. You're going to let them control how you feel about yourself. Don't let that happen. You still keep rising high and doing you and feeling good about you and don't let them get in the way of that. You know what I'm saying? So the next card is Quadish. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but this is sexual wisdom. So I feel like y'all can use y'all sexual energy to help manifest in a way. If y'all want to like, I don't know. I don't know. I'm like, can I say that on YouTube? I don't know if I can say that on YouTube, but y'all, y'all, hopefully y'all picking up what I'm putting down. Maybe y'all can do a little sum sum to help protect y'all's energy, set the intention to, you know, because sometimes when you do the do with yourself, it helps activate your manifestations so i would say to try that if you don't feel comfortable doing that that's perfectly fine um but sexual wisdom use 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 the sexual powers and gifts that you have or even connect them with your sacral chakra for you know stimulation um and activating whatever intention you're trying to activate okay next we have mother mary emotional healing so I feel like for a lot of y'all, and this is just for a lot of y'all, this ain't everybody, okay? So if y'all are like, nah, this ain't me, nah, what you talking about? It probably is you because why you responding like that? But <laughs> um, with this emotional healing, I feel like a part of y'all, sometimes y'all feel envious of other people, you know what I'm saying? So I think this is like a way for y'all to reflect. Um, like I said, it ain't everybody. I feel like it's just some of you that need to reflect on y'all's like, wounds when it comes to jealousy or being envious of someone else or you know that type of thing i don't know if i'm really explaining it in a way where y'all understand but i feel like there's a need to reflect on you know being someone that is jealous of someone else and also having people that are jealous of you so maybe these are two things to talk and reflect on so maybe it's not that okay you're jealous but you maybe you always have people that feel envious of you so it's something to reflect on you know just kind of understanding where this comes from where this stems from or how long you've been experiencing this type of energy these behaviors um so next we have end of a cycle so i feel like like i said earlier y'all keep doing y'all y'all keep living in y'all's power and, and just going above this energy because it's not like y'all you know what i'm saying because this is just somebody that or maybe two, I just got, maybe I need to end this friendship with this person. So whoever y'all feel is sending y'all 
if I can't even say it, whoever y'all feel is sending y'all evil eye energy, it is best. It is in your best interest if you want to protect yourself to cut ties with this person. Okay, remove this person off your social medias. Remove this person out of your life. Delete that number. Delete pictures if you have to. Delete, delete, delete. Because this is somebody that it's like the more you're around them. And if you look at this card, like look at how she's like, I don't know. It's kind of like on this side. She looks like she aging a little bit. It's like the more you stay around these people, the more they're going to make you feel eh, like you're not going to feel good. And even going back to the first, well, the Y card, the first Y card being the Empress and then it being Mother Gothel, somebody that gets older, you know, without that gift, without that energy. So like I said, this mother fluffers is leeching off of y'all's energy. And it's time to reclaim y'all's power. So cut them off. Okay. And then we have a DT expand your consciousness so take the time out to learn more about yourself maybe y'all need to learn more about you know who you are do some research on you know um certain things like I, it doesn't have to be anything specific like y'all need to do, just open up your minds up um and also connecting to god more you know what i'm saying connect connecting more to your highest self connecting more to god connecting more to your ancestors spirit gods deities if you have any that you connect with and so on and so forth um and then we have beautiful change. So I feel like y'all don't really have to do much. I feel like this person is going to suffer on their own. Um, for a lot of y'all, it doesn't seem like this evil eye energy is really like taking. It's not taking the way that this person wants it to. Like y'all are not feeling this evil eye the way that this person is trying to send it to y'all. Does that make sense? Like they don't benefit much from sending this to you but y'all benefit because y'all still in y'all's in y'all's energy y'all not like allowing this person's negativity to influence how you move and how you live your life so kudos to y'all but that's what i have thank y'all so much for tuning in i hope y'all enjoyed this this video and feel free to let me know how y'all feel down in the comments if y'all are interested in booking a personal reading since this is general the link will be in the description so that y'all can do that and until next time i will see you guys um and yeah have a great day don't forget to hydrate meditate peace ashe part two i hope you're doing good thank y'all so much for tuning into today's video we're about to go ahead and get into what y'all need to hear. Who's sending y'all this evil eye energy? Why are they sending it? And how can you combat that on your end? So let's get into it. We're going to start off with who is sending this energy to you. So we have hostilities. Who, baby, baby. This is somebody that's just constantly got their guard up. Like this is somebody that is like super, I'm not here, super califragilistic, SPLadocious. Anyways, this is somebody that's like, their energy is just off like they're very very off very weird very cold distant like you can't really get to them you know what i'm saying you can't really connect with them so this is probably someone that you're trying to you know um create a relationship with someone that you want to build with someone that you want to grow with but they're not really letting you in so next we have the sun I feel like this is someone that can be playful, but they're not consistently playful. Like, I feel like this is someone that forces um, their happiness, you know, someone that likes to come off like they're happy, but they really don't feel, you know, good within themselves. They're not internally good, you know, externally. Sure. Yeah, I can fake a front. I can smile and make you think that I'm happy, but I'm not. So this is someone that's very wishy-washy someone that's already you know not living in their truth you know what i'm saying so i think that it makes it easier for them to you know downplay somebody that probably is so next we have strategy so this person is working against you i ain't gonna say they're doing any magic on you or anything because i'm not that's not the vibe i'm getting i just think that their intentions are not to be on your side they're like playing against you you know what i'm saying like somebody that's orchestrating and organizing tactics and ways to get under your skin and you know throw you off your game so this is somebody that's really sneaky really shysty really like like stay away from them you know you don't really want to i don't know who this is just yet we're still we're still figuring that out but it just seems like this is somebody that's like guilty of something i heard james so i don't know if anybody around y'all's name is james you know what i'm saying this might be somebody i need to release from y'all's lives and if they name ain't james then something something james related is significant to somebody because that name just came out of nowhere we gonna take it and run with it because who who's gonna deny the intuition somebody probably knows a james that they need to release so 
gotta say it, gotta put it out there. Um, but yeah, it seems to be somebody that's working against y'all, whoever this mother fluffer is. Um, next is Envy. So obviously somebody that's jealous of you. Hello. <laughs> why wouldn't they be? Look at you. You're powerful. You're gorgeous. You're everything. Like, why wouldn't they feel some type of way? Why wouldn't they be jealous? Like, why wouldn't they be like, dang, I wish I was them. Yeah, because, yeah, you're a mother fluffer. That's why. So, this is somebody that's hating on you from a distance and potentially in your face. I don't know. I'm getting that vibe. Like, they're very, like, they, they try to act like they're playing. Like, oh, I'm just playing. I ain't really mean that. I ain't really say that for real. That was just me playing. Like, whatever. Like, somebody that likes to do that. They like to joke, joke, hee, hee, ha, ha, and all that good stuff because they feel like they can get away with it maybe you've let them get away with certain stuff in the past like you thought that they was playing but they really wasn't they was really like bitch you're dumb <laughs> you know they try to like really like make fun of you and probably around other people too like they like to clown on you around other people they probably would never clown on you when it's just y'all by yourselves but when other people are around they like to like make jokes on you things like that probably even like for some of y'all like I, I see like a lot of women like that are watching like there's probably like girls that are doing all that around men for you know male attention that type of thing on some weirdo shit but next we got woman holding a heart so it's probably somebody that you were like it's probably like a bestie like it's probably like a close 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 friend y'all like a somebody you probably don't want to let go like it's probably somebody you don't want to release right now it's probably somebody that you actually like being around and they like being around you kind of maybe maybe we'll see we'll see we'll see what's the last card the thinking man so power one got the thinking woman <laughs> and it was actually the first card and now the thinking man's the last card we love the symbolism and the irony spiritual are just so creative um but i feel like this is somebody that you're passionate about for a lot of y'all this could be like a lover like somebody that you love like somebody that you sleep with every night you know what i'm saying might be sending you evil eye because you somewhere they not um this could be this could just be somebody really really close to you like somebody that you really really like would have never thought would be sending you evil eye energy like you would have never thought in a million years this person would send you that negative energy send you that negative energy so bad like this is somebody that you trust a lot somebody that you probably let spend the night at your house multiple times or somebody that you give money and give your love and care and all that to like you give so much to this person and this person just they shitting on your grave like this is this is the the level of disrespect that this person is on this person is on god tier disrespect like they can't stand you they can't stand you they hate to be around you they they roll their eyes every time they hear you talk like even if they doing it in their head like they do not like you they don't like you i don't know who this person is to you but from what i can see what i can gather from this message this person is very close to you. Like, probably somebody that you call your closest friend or like, oh, I love them. They're so great. Like, you probably talk highly about this person and this person just takes every moment that they can to disrespect you, whether it be online, whether it be to another group of friends that they probably got. Like, this person is very, like, like, they roll their eyes at you, like, ill, giving you smug looks. Like, when you post pictures, they probably don't even, like, you know boost your head up like they, they want you to feel down like this is just bad friend behavior bad friend lover whoever this person is but they seem to be very close to you like like right probably right beside you while you're watching this damn video type of close um so friend if you're right there watching this video with them stop being a fake bitch stop doing that it's not cute it's not a good look you know be friends with other fake people don't come over here trying to disrupt the peace because we keep a g over here okay so let's see why they're sending you this energy <sighs> not a swords this person is like it's like because i'm hurting i want you to hurt huh ew I, I don't like that mantra that logic to me just does not seem right like because you're going through something, because something's bothering you, you want somebody to feel the way that you feel. Why would you want somebody to feel that way? Like if you're if you're feeling depressed and you're feeling down in the dumps, why would you even want to wish that on somebody else? If you know how bad that feels, if you know how painful that is, coming from somebody that knows <laughs> firsthand, 
why would you want to wish that on somebody else knowing that that's not really a good place to be at mentally physically emotionally spiritually feeling disconnected from everything and everybody like why would you want that for somebody else and you know that's not a good feeling and how does that make you feel good that you're wishing that on them so very weird um but they are wishing that on you and i feel like they have their guard up to you because maybe they're trying to blame you for things that they go through or things that they feel so maybe they're trying to like shame you and and put you down and all that or maybe even say like oh you're a bad influence like try to make you feel like you know you're the reason for all their problems like bitch no i'm not you're lying king of coins okay king of coins i feel like for y'all y'all in y'all's bag right now y'all is get y'all getting to the money y'all probably got a good job probably like good everything your health might be good you might be just taken care of might have a new home or you know got your shit together all, all the way you know you just you got a lot going for yourself you know what i'm saying this person just they don't like that because it's like your light shining so bright it's shining on them and it makes them uncomfortable because of how bright the light is but it's like it's not bright specifically it's just you're in this dark space and the light is kind of bothering you a little bit it's a little irritating which is understandable you know what i'm saying i think that this is somebody that like they're going through a phase right now they don't discredit that they're sending you evil light energy because i'm not trying to you know make this they're trying to you know we're not trying to do that we're trying to be real but i feel like this person is like oh this is uncomfortable for me you're sending me you're, you're giving me good vibes i'm not really open to good vibes right now because i'm in my my down vibe right now i don't really feel too good so your light is kind of blinding me <laughs> so they just feel some type of way um next is the knight of coins so i feel like they're they feel like they're in competition with you somehow yes somehow i don't know i know you didn't agree to being in competition with this person but somehow they have written an agreement to themselves that they were going to be in competition with you um trying to one up everything you do you know what i'm saying they, they feel like they're in competition with you or that you're in competition with them like you're trying to be like them you're trying to do what they do like you copying they they style and that type of thing they feel like you want to be them i digress next two of cups so they might be jealous of like the type of people you date or just jealous of like i guess how you're treated by other people maybe they see like how your family life's different from theirs or your romantic life's different from theirs so they're comparing themselves to you which is making them furious internally because you have things that they want. You get to experience things that they don't get to experience. You get to date people that they don't get to date. Like, they're looking at that and they feel some type of way. They feel hit. They're like, bitch, how dare you be cuter than me? How, how dare you get cuter guys or cuter girls or cuter partners than me? How dare you get a good job? How dare you live a life of lavish? How dare you? It's like, why can't you just be happy for me? <laughs> why can't you just be happy that I'm doing good and I can get the things that I want? But they don't like that. Next is the Five of Cups. So I feel like this person is like, <sighs> I'm hearing dripper drown. Like dripper drown. <laughs> dripper drown. Dripper, dripper, dripper drown. Say that 10 times fast. Dripper drown, dripper drown, dripper drown. Whatever. Anyways, I feel like with this person, like, Things aren't going right for them. I don't know. Maybe they needed you for some type of support or something because something was going wrong in their life and they thought that you were going to be a good helping hand. Maybe you was just busy or you had something going on. But I guess that made them feel some type of way. They're like, oh, how dare you not listen to me complain about the same thing again? Like, like it just feels like you weren't there when you needed you weren't there when they needed you and they're mad at you for that but it doesn't seem like you were intentionally missing out on whatever they had going on it just seems like you were busy and you weren't trying to you know avoid your friend you just had other shit going on you know what i'm saying that you couldn't you couldn't move it around in time just to be a helping hand in that moment next is the seven of coins so there's a lot of jealousy here I feel like this person has always been jealous of you, low-key. <laughs> like, low-key, always felt some type of way about what you did or who you did it with. 
Um, probably always also jealous of like just your looks and maybe you dress really nice or you know you just when you go outside you look presentable like you take good care of yourself like hygiene on point style on point hair on point eyebrows eyelashes all that everything about you is on point your mind is on point your spirit is on point like they're jealous because you have things that they do not have um but it's like, friend, I could teach you. I could put you on game. Like, why you why you got to hate me? Like, that don't even make sense. <coughs> <coughs> I don't know why I just started coughing. Woo. This is somebody that could be, like, blocking your throat chakra. Um, or maybe they silenced you. Or maybe they want to silence you. Maybe they don't want you to speak. You know, maybe they feel like your voice is too powerful. Or you say things. Or something like that. I don't know. This, this might be somebody that's trying to, like, dim your light. You know? So let's see what you can do to take better care of yourself and protect yourself from this person's energy. So we have Ra. Share your gift. Keep sharing your gift. Keep putting yourself out there. I think it's going to make them even more mad when you start putting yourself out there. Like for a lot of y'all, y'all probably aren't like influencers on social media like that. Like y'all probably post y'all's pictures and go. But for a lot of y'all, y'all are here to share something that you have, whether it be your voice, whether it be your music, whether it be your art, whether it be you know, whatever abilities that you have, because everybody has their own significant ability. So whatever it is that you do and you enjoy doing, share that with the world. And this person's going to crumble because this person feels some type of way about you shining your light and feeling good and being out there. Like this person gets, like they get mad and angry when they see a new Instagram post from you or when you start posting TikToks or whatever, just trying to be funny and have a good time. Like they don't like that. This is somebody that just does not like to see you happy because they want to be happy. So there's that. Next, High Priest of Atlantis, Chakra Healing. So definitely I would recommend some Reiki um, or meditating, you know, do some meditation to help realign your chakras. Um, they have meditations on YouTube for that. If you want to do it in your own home, in your own mind, your own intentions, do it that way, whatever you feel called to. Um, for a lot of y'all, it just seems like maybe yoga would be a good fit for y'all. Maybe y'all enjoy doing yoga or already practice it, um, or finding other ways to help align your chakras as well. So I feel like y'all just need to clear out all the energy that could be blocking your chakras and blocking you from your path. Um, next we have intuitive awakening, Avalon Priestess. So... I feel like a lot of y'all are going to know who this person is very soon if you don't. I feel like for some of y'all, y'all already know who this person is. And maybe for a lot of y'all, y'all aren't even in communication with this person anymore, but they're still sending you that evil eye energy. Um, next, we have Mary Magdalene. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Sacred marriage. Um, so maybe y'all need to make a commitment to yourselves. Y'all know what I'm saying? Like y'all have a hard time. Maybe y'all are too nice. Y'all let everybody in. You know what I'm saying? Like, y'all want to be friends with everybody. Y'all want to build relationships with everybody. Y'all want to, you know, like, y'all want to make other people happy, even if they're people that are sending you evil out energy. But I feel like y'all have to make commitments to yourselves that don't detour you from your own self-respect, you know? Um, stop settling for relationships and friendships and things like that that you don't benefit from. You deserve to benefit from a relationship. You know, it's not to say like, oh, you're in this relationship for the benefit, but it's to say that you're in a relationship with someone that gives you what you give them. You know, there's reciprocation taking place. It isn't about them leeching off your energy and you just feeling drained because of their presence. It's, you know, I pour into you, you pour into me. And that's just, it is what it is. So if there's people, and this doesn't have to be one person. If there's multiple people right now in your life that are not pouring into you or you feel that they're not giving you what you need, you know, or what you ask for or, you know, make you feel good in some way, let them go. Let them go. You don't need to keep holding on to these types of connections because you deserve better. So light your fire. I feel like it's time for y'all to get creative. Have fun. Enjoy y'all's lives. Like, don't let an evil eye stop you, okay? Don't let a little, a little, a little sneaky evil eye keep you from living in your light, living in your truth, and and sharing and and giving the world a part of you that you know it's been waiting on, okay? And then the last card is Apollo, divine messages. Listen to y'all's ancestors, y'all spirit guides. Listen to God. Listen to yourself. Connect, okay? Get connected for free with education connection. Get connected for free. 
but that's what i have for you guys thank y'all so much for tuning in i hope that this reading resonated and i hope that y'all got the clarity that y'all were seeking um feel free to subscribe and all that good stuff if y'all have not already also don't forget to hydrate and meditate because that is very very important and i will see y'all in the next video peace hello five three hello 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 y'all know we gotta save the best for last so if you pay pile three, welcome to the reading. We're about to dive right in and see who's been sending you this evil eye energy. All right. So, ooh, wait a minute. So fifth chakra, throat chakra. I think this is somebody that you may have had like an argument with or like maybe like a mis disagreement, misunderstanding. Like this is somebody that you aren't really seeing eye to eye with at some point in time of your life. So Maybe this is someone from your past that still checks up on your social media, still checks to see how you're doing in life. But as they're doing that, they're praying and hoping that you don't succeed, even though you already succeeded. So next is the temple path. This is somebody that you may have like thought was like a part of your soul tribe, or maybe you thought there was a part of like your spiritual team, or maybe you felt like this is someone that you had like grew to have a very strong spiritual relationship with at some point in time so this is someone that could be spiritual um alongside you you know maybe this is somebody that like helped you or you helped them spiritually um maybe they just got big headed it's somebody that got full of themselves very fast so action came out reverse this is somebody's not gonna do anything they're not gonna they're not gonna step to you they're not gonna say they don't like you even though they do, they don't have the balls to confront you. Like, this is somebody that's going to throw rocks and hide their hand. One of them bitches. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Get into it. Broken heart with the heart chakra and financial constraints. So, this person is probably wishing and hoping that you don't make enough make more money than them. Like, they don't want you to be in a relationship that's healthy. Like, they really wish that you would just unalive yourself. Like, this is, they don't like you that much. Like, I don't know what y'all did. And it don't seem like y'all did anything. But this person has it out for you. Like, every chance they get, they're going to send you some evil eye energy. They wake up, send you evil eye energy. They get in a shower, send you evil eye energy. They go to sleep and pray and send you that negative ass energy. That's all they do. Eat, sleep, and breathe. Send XYZ this evil eye. Let them know I can't stand them. This is like your arch nemesis. Like, this is somebody that, like, hates, hates your fucking guts like they don't like you at all like they it's smoke it's smoke with them they feel like it's smoke but you probably don't feel like it's smoke you probably moved on from this friendship this relationship with this person like you probably don't even see them in their light like oh i don't like you i'm gonna, I'm gonna beat you up type shit like you don't care you are unbothered and that's what's got them bothered because they want you to be bothered but you're not so let's see why they're sending you this evil eye energy <clears throat> Why? Why are they choosing to send you evil eye energy? What happens? Three of Wands. I'm hearing Super Gremlin. Man, we could be superstars. Some, I don't know the song like that. But they feel some type of way. They feel like you snaked them or you did them dirty. Like They feel like you, you moved funny. I don't know. I don't know what that... I, I mean, it's like I get what... I get it. I get what that means, but I'm like... I can also feel y'all's energy. Like, what did y'all do that was sneaky? What did y'all do that was slimy? It probably was nothing. Probably nothing. Probably nothing. They probably just took something too personally that you said or did. So, the Seven of Wands. I feel like they tried to, like, this is somebody that tried to, like, get under your skin or, like, say some really foul shit to you. Like, they probably tried to disrespect you publicly or just around certain people like they try to disrespect you alienate your name talk bad about your character like this is somebody that's probably making fun of you or something that you've gone through like this is someone that I, I, they hate your guts i don't know who this person is but they hate your guts like to the depths of their soul they hate you they hate you but this ain't nothing you need to internalize this ain't nothing you need to feel that type of way about because they the way they feel about you <clears throat> It's just love that they're avoiding. They're avoiding their love for you. They're denying their love for you. You know, like they they hate you so deeply that they really care about you. You know what I'm saying? Like genuinely, they actually do care about you. They just hate you. 
that don't make sense. But don't don't listen to me, okay? Don't listen to me. I don't know what I'm trying to say. But hopefully, hopefully somebody gets what I'm saying. Though it's like they hate you, but like hate is just love and hate. At the, well, no, they say jealousy is love and hate at the same time. But whatever, it don't matter. This person just they they just strongly dislike you. But oh well, they're missing out. They can go experience the good vibes and wherever they're trying to go somewhere else if they're not getting it from you. Like, why well, still entertain that? Really weird. They they still they still care about you enough to send you this energy in the first place. So don't take it too personal. Page of Wands. This person doesn't understand how you can do things the way that you do them. They don't understand you. They feel like it's so weird that you're able to like create things a certain way or make certain things look cool or whatever the case may be. Like you could be super duper creative. You might be somebody that's able to do a lot of different things. Like you might be very multifaceted where you might be able to draw, but you also might be able to act. You might also be able to dance. You might also be able to write write poetry or write books or something like that. Like they feel so envious of you because you can do so much with your own self, with your own abilities, and they feel like they can't do anything. So I think that's a very big part as to why they feel this way towards you and why they hate your guts, because they feel like you can do better than them in so many different areas. And I guess they feel some type of way about that, but it's like, bitch, take some classes, okay? Cause you could never, you could never get this natural raw talent, bitch. You're gonna have to take a class to get to where I'm at. Just kidding. But next. We got the Eight of Cups. So you probably cut them off or you probably did something that made them feel like you was cutting them off or something. Like maybe this is where, this is this is their like villain era for you. Maybe you cut them off because they was doing something shady or shysty to you. Like you saw they was doing some weird shit and you might've called them out on it. Maybe they didn't want to be called out on their shit. Maybe they, it's somebody that likes to victimize themselves. Like you, they can't do no wrong. Like if you tell them like, hey, you need to, you need to chill. Like, you know it's okay or something i don't know what y'all could have said to them but they're just like no bitch you don't tell me what to do or they, they'll try to make up some type of excuse like this is somebody that needs to be excused for their bad behavior or they're going to <clears throat> or they're going to like cause an uproar like this is somebody that you can you can't even tell them what they're doing wrong because they don't want to hear it they definitely don't want to hear it from you because you it's like how can you say that you think you're better than everybody like that will be their initial response to you because they feel like you think you're better than them because they think you're better than them okay and we got the five of swords so yes yeah, it's definitely somebody that like said a lot of bad things to you you probably said some bad things to them but you're not out here sending evil eye okay but yeah this person feels like <clears throat> They feel like they, they feel like they can do better than you. Like they feel like they're that girl, that they're that guy, they're that whatever. They feel like they're better than you, and it's so weird because like if you think you're better than me, why are you still worried about me? Why? Why? It don't make no sense. But with the Five of Swords, and I, I personally just feel like <sighs> this person is at war with themselves. This person is unhappy with themselves. So, they want you to flop because then they feel like they have a chance to be better. Like, they see it as when you're thriving, you're doing good, they can't do good. Like, they feel like, they feel like watching you grow and thrive and be in your, in your element and, you know, be on your shit. They feel... I hope y'all still walk with me because I'm trying to get the message through spirit. I'm trying to channel this message the right way because it's, it's taking a little, little bit to the process. But now I lost my train of thought. <laughs> Anyways, we're just going to move on to the next card. Um, Eight of Pentacles. So, yeah, you might have a very strong work, work ethic. You might be somebody that's, you know, down to get dirty, like... You don't care, whatever it takes. Like, you're you're willing to do whatever it is necessary. You know what I'm saying? You're willing to go above and beyond. And this person somehow just don't have that same drive as you. You know what I'm saying? So, they feel like when you stop and you lose the race, they're going to win the race. It's kind of like, you know, the rabbit and the hare. But they're the rabbit. Wait, the rabbit and the hare? Isn't that two different words for rabbit? Okay. Okay. The tortoise and the hare the tortoise and the rabbit, the turtle and the rabbit, whatever. I hope y'all, y'all, 
don't mind me okay do not mind me it's just be little moments like this where i have my little slow moments don't be laughing at me in the comments it's okay if you do but i'm sensitive <laughs> but no seriously it's kind of like the the tortoise and the hare you know what i'm saying like they feel like oh i'm better than you i can out win i can i can win this race i can dust you da, 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 da. And you're like okay but and then you do you and you still win and they do all this extra shit trying to prove themselves and bitch you're losing so it's like they're they try to prove themselves too much which is just outrageous behavior so let's see what ways you can protect yourself keep vibrating off of love i feel like y'all are very loving people y'all are very caring people like you probably didn't even do anything out of spite to this person but they took it the wrong way because they wanted to find something to hate you for you know what i'm saying they wanted a reason to hate you they wanted a reason to not like you whatsoever so they found their reason and you are still vibrating off of love and compassion and you know i'm not going to stoop down to your level type shit you know so next is i cannot say this i would love to pronounce this correctly if anyone else how to pronounce this name please let me know because i feel like it's very beautiful i just don't know how to say it because my brain is going to say something that's completely wrong um so forgive um maybe you may need to forgive this person you know to release this this evil eye um forgive this person for not knowing any better you know what i'm saying i feel like they know better but i feel like their ignorance is just getting in the way you know so forgive this person um send them love send them compassion because it's like obviously they need it obviously they need as much love and compassion as they can get because they must not be receiving it from someone around them or they're not giving it to themselves so send it their way and if you don't feel like sending it their way i can't tell you what to do but for a lot of you i think the best way to go about this is to send that love right sit well i ain't gonna say right back because i ain't sending you love but send love to them you know what i'm saying send compassion to them i love all my haters y'all keep me going you know what i'm saying having that type of logic um so next we have hide tell the truth so maybe you need to speak about the situation maybe you haven't been able to voice your opinion about the situation you haven't been able to say how you feel about the situation so maybe you need to just talk about it maybe you need to talk to someone about it um maybe this is somebody that like maybe traumatized you in some type of way made you feel really bad about what had happened or shamed you for a decision that you had made um so you may need to open up about this or maybe you need to confront them if you can if you can't then that's perfectly fine but you know so something's gotta give you know i feel like you need to just give your testimony in some way it ain't gotta be to them directly maybe you just need to open up about it journal it you know what i'm saying journal it all out and reflect on it reflect on your part as well because maybe there's some things you did that were a little out the way but you never know it's, it's really it just depends on who is reading or well, who's listening so next we have earth magic so maybe y'all need to get grounded get grounded in nature maybe y'all have been disconnected from nature and that is why y'all's y'all's energy is just open to these infestations and things just coming at you all crazy maybe you need to reconnect with earth get grounded um and also you know connect with uh, you know earth's minerals things like that um for some of you so maybe y'all need to connect with dirt or connect with oil or connect with something something okay some crystals something um maybe y'all need protective crystals maybe y'all need to wear some protective crystals or y'all need to y'all need something y'all need something i don't know I, i'm getting i just keep hearing something i don't know maybe y'all know what y'all need maybe y'all know what y'all need to go get maybe y'all can get some you know incense uh some palo santo um something something y'all can get some things some candles i don't know y'all y'all know what to do y'all know what to do i feel like those listening know what to do if you don't know what to do i don't know what to tell you because i'm i'm drawing a blank right here <laughs> but yeah i would say to definitely connect with the with the nature spirits things like that they can definitely help you and bring you some insight guidance and all of that watch your words um i feel like for a lot of y'all this person may have really like affected your self-esteem in some way just by what they had said or what they did to you like they probably made you feel like you weren't you weren't that girl or you weren't that guy you weren't that person like you didn't feel like you were in your element this person probably tried to drag your name through the mud probably tried to like make up rumors about you and you know defame your character um but you know that the things this person said is not true and i think that you don't need to be telling yourself the things that this person told you because you could be affecting your self-esteem now it's like this person's not here to bring you down so now you're bringing yourself down because of things that they had said don't let this person stop you from being in your power don't let this person stop you from living in your truth and living in you know your abundance and harmony you know what i'm saying all of that like don't let them get in the way of that 
And last but not least, inner strength. So I feel like y'all need to connect with y'all's higher selves, um, maybe through meditation or, you know, something along the lines of that. I feel like y'all, y'all need to recognize, you know, your abilities and recognize what you're capable of. You know what I'm saying? Don't, don't be limited to what this person believes because they don't even have faith in you. You know what I'm saying? So somebody's praying on your downfall every day. So what they think about you don't even matter. What do you think about you? Um, so that's what I have for you guys. Thank y'all so much for tuning into today's video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, um, and turn on that bell so I never miss any of my uploads. Don't forget to hydrate and meditate, and I will see you guys next time.